Hi, cat. It's a good kitty. Here's the other cat. Hey, Charlotte. Gotta love cats. Good to have yours. This is the old fuel sender out of our tractor. Made by Kobo Italy, which is a stock electrical um, manufacturer for Fiat Agri tractors. Before it became New Holland. It's got your, like a variac thing that I was talking about in the previous video. It's like a variable resistor there, varistor. As that fuel level goes up, voltage increases. And a dial pointer on your dash cluster will indicate a full tank. See what wears out the track actually wears um, through. There's a brake and it has brakes in it and a needle just dies out part way as the um, fuel gets to certain levels of the tank. I've tried to repair it by bending the wiper so it presses harder. But that didn't seem to have worked. This, yeah. It's worn uh, traces right off that board. Let's see what happens with a hook or mop across it. I'm going to keep these wires though. Because those little connectors fit on um, speakers. Same with these ones. I'm going to keep them as uh, speaker connectors. They're handy. Okay. Power's on. Alright. I'll plug safety first. Forgot to connect the ground wire to it. That would help. <laughs> okay, ground wire's hooked up. Power's on. And it blew all the traces off at once now. Then it fuel sender's really not going to work. Plug safety first, let's observe the damage. <sighs> I smell of diesel. Yeah, plastic burns quite, quite well actually. Cool plastic, still on fire actually. <sighs> Highly combustible plastic. There you go, that's one way to fix a bad fuel gauge, or fuel sender I should say. Hmm, looks like spit. <sighs> type of, the type of plastic they used on this. They wanted bloody... Uh, I think that this used to be a hundred bucks, this bloody part alone. I think the Massey Ferguson ones are 250 bucks, just for this little bloody sender here. And this one model, the 355, is just different from all the rest. Just a pain in the ass what they've done. So there you go. Put that outside. Just so nothing smokes out. I don't want any fire in here. Let's try something else. Let's see if this works. Try and make a Jacobs out of here. Using MIG wire, which is not ideal, but let's see what happens. Power's on. Almost. Almost. Hmm, sparkles. Burns a mig wire. I'm going to put another wire onto the common so it arcs and actually climbs. So I get another wire and we'll see what happens. Power's on.
Bloody wire sticks. There you go. Bit close to danger there, but that looks pretty cool. Might have to bring that outside and try it. Alright, oh, let's try this now. There you go, Jacob's letter. A very crude one. Go chase me wire, I think. Burn. Gets pretty hot, a lot of current there, and that's with the ballast. Alright, power off. Let's try something else. Unplug, safety first. Okay, if you also I want to know, since I've bypassed the field winding on this motor, I've got left my connections un unplugged. I want to wire up my multimeter to these, see what, what voltage you get out of this winding while the motor's running. I left the other one connected still, haven't modified it since the last time I did the video on this. Plug it in and see what has changed. If we can get any voltage out of that um, winding there. And we'll try to shorten it out and see what other, um, other behaviour this thing does. If it, if it goes slower or faster if I short that winding or that pole out or what, so... The field winding I should say. Just hook this up. Goes to the multimeter there. Just like so, I'll we'll turn it on and see what happens. Okay, it's all connected. AC volts, see what happens. 48 volts. Oh, a 50 volt transformer. Cool. I'm going to plug into that and see what happens. Might pop something while, while using that. Could be interesting. Before I do that, let's short it out, see what happens. Five amps, yeah, she don't like a shorted field. <laughs> now I know what an electric motor of this type behaves like when it's got a shorted field. So I'm gonna plug a load into that, see what happens. Let's see if there's enough to light up a light bulb at least. Nah. I'm not having the slightest glow. I'm at a smaller load. There's not much current there then. Let's try this Fisher and Parkle pump motor. 0.7 amp, 80 watts. Made in France by Selny. Alright, power on. Nah, not enough current there. Hmm. Yeah, she don't like shorted fields. About three amps there. I'm gonna try another experiment. Oh, a bit smoky. Something got hot there. Yeah, the com bar's got a bit hot there. Oh, I'm going to try to take the innovator out. That's going to be about 240 volt primary, but I'll vary it, ballast it, because you obviously probably can't put a two fo uh, full 240 volt in there, and see what I get in this secondary. See if this actually acts as a kind of a crude transformer. Yeah. Combine a bit blackened. Oh, the is still good there. That'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.